stamps. Well, um, Fulton went, um, four, three, one this time against the Arizona Coyotes. Um, first playing these Coyotes for the, well, third time in, well, like 11 days. Yeah, because we played them, you know, or it's just on Monday. St. Louis, we played them in Arizona again on the 18th of March. So, yeah, I've been playing them a lot lately in the last like four games or so. But, um, yeah. So, we go up 1 nothing. Uh, go by Patrick Berglund, his 22nd that ties his career high with 22 goals he has now. One nothing blues. And then the only goal in the second period we would be up uh two nothing by Vladimir Tarasenko. Um at at two twenty three. That would put us at two nothing, that's Tarasenko's thirty sixth goal of the season. Um and then in the third period, Coyotes would get on the board, go by Alex Golovsky. Now make it 2-1, and then we went in the empty net goal by um, David Perron. His 16 by Perron now puts him 3-1. So, yeah, um, it was another solid start by this time Carter Hutton. He got his um, third straight win, I believe, yeah. Um, you know, he, he's been playing great lately. You know, the struggle to change in by Alan Orr Hutton has been great. Um, all season pretty much. But, um, yeah. And one thing I didn't realize, realize was that if we would have, well, we won, but if, um, Calgary would have won. We would have clinched the playoff spot. I did not realize that. But, um, the clearance was the Kings beat the Flames 4 1. So, yeah, that stinks. But, uh, we'll be in Colorado next Friday. That should be an easy one for us. As we all know, we beat in Colorado in, their, in our first three games. I believe, yeah. Yeah, our first three. Um, so I think. Know, we can be able to beat them and you know we'll still have one more game against them after this game coming up so until friday let's see how we're going to make this single blues